Hello then, thank you so much for keeping us company. This is why in the morning we are moving to the political space where we want to see how things are, how things will be. And of course, we are talking about the Jubilee Asili formation. Uh, this has come in the wake of uh, the Rangos that have uh, uh, have risen in the Jubilee House. Of course, we will also be looking at the kinder uh, formation of the uh, the coalition, uh, the people who have been coming to the Jubilee House. We have seen the Wiper Democratic Movement has come and then Mandela Chap Chap is in the house. Uh, so those are some of the things that are happening. I'm speaking to political analyst Silas Eritra, who will try to demystify some of the issues that are happening. And of course we will mention what is happening uh, or what will be happening later in the day, uh, the KICC during the Jubilee uh, Parliamentary Group meeting where most of the people allied to the De deputy president William Ruto are saying they will not attend because they feel they will be uh, they can't attend a meeting that will be slaughtering their friends and uh, yeah so those are some of the things that are happening and we have a question for you what uh, informs your decision when you're voting you voted on 2017 you voted in 2013 you'll be voting again come 2022 what informs your decision let's hear your comments or your answer to that question on all our social media platforms y254 channel on facebook and instagram and twitter is at y254 channel my handle is at morani hillary for now welcome and uh, Let's know what is happening. My name is Dereva Hilary. Good morning and welcome to the broadcast. How are you, Cyrus? I'm fine. And you? Me, I'm very well. Mm -hmm. uh, just at, at, at some point, perturbed with what is happening politically, mm. and then we have coronavirus. Mm. Uh, on the other hand, mm. we are struggling. For real, we are struggling yes. as a nation. Yes. And the world is struggling. And some of the people are doing well. Um, you speak what Wachakula Lazima chakula mm. of, of course they are also struggling getting mm. that food for yes, you yes. we have farmers who are crying uh, the rains are here but so we have diff all kinds of problems but let's move to politics and we begin with uh, the formation of the jubilee asili mm. uh, i think to be interpreted this is the original original jubilee yes uh, what, which was meant to be Yes. Other than what is here. What do you make of the recent events? Uh, first of all, I'll say that uh, people are struggling. People are trying to have, their, to have something to eat, mm -hmm. to have money in their pockets, mm -hmm. simply because of the wrong decisions that we make during elections. Yeah. Simply because we don't make the right choices. Mm -hmm. Simply because we go to elections with emotions. Mm -hmm. Okay? That I have a graduate so and so, I have a graduate this and this tribe. Mm -hmm. So those emotions drive us to vote. Mm -hmm. But when ideology will come and start driving us to vote, mm -hmm. we shall be voting in the right manner. We shall be voting in credible leaders. We shall be voting in leaders <coughs> who, are, uh, uh, who have integrity. Mm -hmm. And we shall uphold our constitution. Mm -hmm. No matter how many times we will change our constitution. And uh, whatever we have, we don't uphold on it. Mm -hmm. No matter how many times we change it, we shall never have good leaders. A constitution does not provide good leaders. Good leaders is all about integrity. The one you have. Okay? Personality. And, and, and your personality. How are you able to manage mm -hmm. things when you are given on your own? How are you able to manage things to other people? Mm -hmm. So this is what entails on leadership and good governance. Then uh, on the formation of Jubilee Asili, or the talk of Jubilee Asili, mm -hmm. you cannot say it is registered, because when you go to the political parties uh, uh, and confirm if it is registered, it is not registered. Mm -hmm. So this is just, uh, like I can say, it's, uh, this is a group of individuals mm -hmm. who have felt that uh, We've been sidelined. Our opinion does not count where we are. Should you call them defectors or rebels? Uh, <laughs> whichever name you can choose to call, but I, to me I can just say these are the people who feel the opinion does not count. Mm -hmm. And they need to raise their issues. Right. Where do they need to raise their issues? Mm -hmm. Mark you, they are in government in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how can we raise issues? As much as we are working together and there's no there's that cold relation okay or there's that cold war mm -hmm. 
there is a way we, we uh, the top people will communicate mm -hmm. and we can use that channel so that we can communicate yeah. yes there's a team that you cannot work with but there's one person in that team mm -hmm. you can work and relate to with in one way or the other so mm -hmm. that to see one thing or the other thing is being uh, managed or it's being uh, successful so this is uh, this is just a tactic but that has question. been there or uh -huh. we all, in other way you can also put it in the in the in the layman's language that mm -hmm. you say you think that uh, jubilee is the only house i can be yes i can have an alternative i can go the other way i can come up with jubilee Asili because one mm -hmm. uh, jubilee Asili has those uh, yellow and black colors mm -hmm. and we know and the black colors <laughs> who they are associated uh, with, with the, 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 the founder of the yellow and, 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 and blue colors. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that we need to sit down and interrogate ourselves, okay? Mm -hmm. So that we get good uh, responses. So let us see how things are unfolding, mm -hmm. okay? As we await for the, 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 the parliamentary group meet, the Jubilee parliamentary group meeting that is going to happen today at KICC, you, a lot is going to unfold. You, you have mentioned that, that these members who have gone to form the Jubilee Asili, uh, as it uh, is spoken about right now, we have talks of the Jubilee Asili, of which you've mentioned it is not existing in the political party's uh, database. But now, these are the people who formed the party initially. Yes. These are the people who belonged to the party. How do we find ourselves here that we cannot be heard? Uh, thank you. You see, even uh, when we go, to, let us go to since uh, the multi party democracy, mm -hmm. the founders uh, of the parties are the same people who ran away from the original parties mm -hmm. to go and form other parties so that they can feel that uh, they are hard, their voice is hard, mm -hmm. or uh, that is their comfort zone. Because one, uh, even we look, well, let us look at the Ford Kenya, mm -hmm. how it was formed. It was formed with uh, Kina Jeromagi Ginga, Ginga, Kina Gitobu Manyara, and others. Mm -hmm. Okay? But later, we had Ford Asili, we had Ford people, mm -hmm. and so on. So many parties came along. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because one, and I said it here sometimes back, eh, mm -hmm. we've yearned the people who come out loudly speaking about democracy mm -hmm. are not the real democracy champions. The, the democracy is just but a, a hidden agenda, mm -hmm. okay? They mm -hmm. run with, or a hidden topic they run with. But in deep their hearts, there's no democracy. They don't exercise democracy. Mm -hmm. Look at where they are, look at where they belong, look at where they stay. Is, there, is democracy practiced there? No, because people preach water, then they drink wine, mm -hmm. or they preach wine and drink water. Mm -hmm. So there's, there, there's no relationship between democracy and the person who is championing for democracy. Mm -hmm. Because when you're championing for democracy, okay, mm -hmm. then you should exercise that democracy from where you are, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Because you cannot point a finger, okay, that uh, this person is a wrong person, and yet you yourself, you have so many evils around yourself. So when you talk of democracy, what ideology are we putting on the table? And that's why we say the political parties need to be an institution. Right. When a political party is an institution, mm -hmm. then things to do with democracy shall be accountability. It will, it will not only be a talk where somebody will rise up and say, there's no democracy, there's no democracy. What kind of democracy do you need? Mm -hmm. And yet you don't practice the same, same democracy. Mm -hmm. What kind of uh, gender balance do you need? And yet you don't practice gender parity in your own institution, which is a political party. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that we need to interrogate ourselves. We as Kenyans, mm -hmm. we as leaders, and we as the stakeholders of this nation. So these are some of the things mm -hmm. that really need to come out in our institutions. And I've always said these parties, they end up forming government. And when they form government, they need to show us mm -hmm. their credibility before they become a government. Okay? Right. Because we only <coughs> know one person in a political party. Mm -hmm. The rest are just but others. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because like a political party, let me say like Jubilee, we know of Uhuru. Then you know of Ruto. The rest are others. Mm -hmm. Like Kanu, you know of Gideon 
and uh, Salat. The rest are others. Mm -hmm. It goes the same way to other parties also. Right. So this, we want to know mm. who uh, who or so and so holds mm. a, certain a certain position in a political party mm. and this is what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Because these parties give us government. These parties give us opposition. So these are some of the things that we need to know. Mm -hmm. And we need to find out and we need to work out and we and that's why we, I always say the political parties act should be up to their task. You you have mentioned of uh, ideologies and I remember this is one of the things that has been commented by the Machakos governor Alfred Mutua yesterday. He, he said uh, Kenyans should be wary and he warned Kenyans of ca having these uh, formations in terms of a tribal thing yes. and he also mentioned about uh, ideologies and for a long time you have been mentioning about ideologies but then when we have these parties they come up with manifestos that's an a good that's a good idea where do people go wrong to implementing the manifestos they come up with uh you see i'll come up with a manifesto mm -hmm. to lure you okay okay mm -hmm. i'll sit down and say this person this is what he wants okay mm -hmm. so i'll come up with a manifesto that will suit you and will suit me and will suit any other person that feels mm -hmm. this is the right manifesto but in deep inside me that thing is not there mm -hmm. i just want to use thing as an avenue okay i just want to have followers around me and that is why uh, more uh, any in diligent person will not agree mm -hmm. to things to do with the old jubilee uh, ccm or oh, why pass g what what coming mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. because one when you coming together it shows you lack ideology when coming together then democracy does not mean anything to you because mm -hmm. that's not democracy in one or the other democracy means fight from where you are okay fight for the space you want from wherever you are mm -hmm. don't run to seek uh, uh, solace or don't run just because the other side favors you mm -hmm. and run there. No. Mm -hmm. Stand from where you are. Exercise the democracy from where you are. Okay? Mm -hmm. These are some of the things that we will go for. And we, we, when we champion for them, mm -hmm. then we will have the right leaders in place. Because whatever is happening right now, mm -hmm. it's the same thing that happened in 2002. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing that happened in 2012. Okay, mm -hmm. and ask yourself why this period and not not in two in not in two or seven, not in 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 twenty seventeen, not in uh, maybe say nineteen ninety seven. Okay, mm -hmm. when people come together without ideology, these are people who lack vision, mm -hmm. and the people we have right now they are the people without a vision, mm -hmm. and they are, they cannot take our country anywhere. Mm -hmm. We are we are suffering as a country because the leaders we have are not true leaders they are not servants okay yeah. they are there uh -huh. just to uh, to ensure their interest is well managed their interest is well achieved mm -hmm. and this is what we are we are suffering as a country because when we have leaders in place then we shall see development number one mm -hmm. when we have leaders in place then uh, economy will rise as much as we are number six uh, in, the, in, in Africa, economy-wise, okay? Mm -hmm. But we need to be even number one. Why can't we strive to be number one, okay? Then even number six mm -hmm. in the world. Okay. These are some of the things that we need to sit down and interrogate, okay? Not just coming out, or coming out together in the same of, oh, today I want to be in Jubilee. Just be no, no. Uh, you know, we, we're speaking about the political heat, and I remember one of the analogy Deputy President Root was speaking at some event in Nakuru. He mentioned about the kitchen, and now the Jubilee House kuna joto, mm. kuna moshi, mm. and uh, it seems now uh, some of the people can't stand the smoke and the heat. They have decided to leave, but even so, on the other hand, the Jubilee Party and the Jubilee uh, Coalition thing, it was made or out of small 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 parties yes these are the people who came and formed the party are they at liberty to live now are they bound by the by the party's uh, constitution see, to live uh, in this country parties are be always used as a vehicle mm -hmm. once you reach your destination and you don't own that vehicle what are you going to do in, the, in that vehicle mm -hmm. you are light to your destination Mm -hmm. Move on. Do the, what you want to do. Do they go back with the names of their parties? 
or they now, they, ha they, they have to come up with new see, parties they have come up with new parties mm -hmm. you see like uh, the jubilee had so many parties in self eh? mm -hmm. now the parties that were, were were swallowed by jubilee were now the the people will get out mm -hmm. you see those parties were now uh, they, are, they are no longer there mm -hmm. they don't exist mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so these people need to form up other new parties mm -hmm. because those ones never existed and that's why you see people like Eugene Wamalwa, they have realized today <laughs> that they need to have a party, mm -hmm. okay? So that they can run on that party. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see there's those squabbles. They need to have oh, whatever, the Ford Kenya thing, so mm -hmm. that they can have a vehicle they can use to bargain. Or to, use, they, they just need a vehicle to bargain mm -hmm. for something in the government. Let me say so. And what lesson would be people learning from uh, being being in a small party, being swallowed by a big party, what lesson are people now getting from this? Uh, people, what they should learn is that uh, just work from where you are. Mm -hmm. And the best example is uh, NASA. Okay? Mm -hmm. We had Jubilee and then we had NASA. You see, NASA mm -hmm. was a coalition of p political parties. Mm -hmm. Jubilee was a party. Okay? Now, you see, when the party leader went the other way, or the, 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 the flag bearer of NASA mm -hmm. went the other way. Mm -hmm. NASA, the other part, the, 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 he went there as ODM. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, these others are, when Kalonzo goes there, he goes there as wiper. Okay? When now this, Mdodi speaks, he speaks as ANC. Mm -hmm. Same to, to Wetangula. When CCM has gone there, he has gone there as CCM. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not as NASA. Mm -hmm. That's a different thing. Yeah. When you retain your, your original, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Now you remain to be there. Unlike when you are swallowed. Mm -hmm. What if NASA was a party today? There will be a lot of war mm -hmm. in, the, in, 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 in that party called NASA. Right. I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Because right now there is war. But one thing, mm -hmm. the, 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 the war that is there, mm -hmm. no, one can con no one can step on the other and tell him, keep quiet or this, uh, silence the, the other person. No. Everyone is a boss on their own, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And everyone manages his own uh, ideologies. Everyone has MPs mm -hmm. and everyone can control their MPs. Right. And like the way Jubilee is, when they get, so they have one leader mm -hmm. and they have to tow, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. They have to tow as their leader tells them. They have to follow the leader. Mm -hmm. Well, if the leader goes this way, so if you are a rebel, you just need to, to speak, but you, re, you, went to, you just decide <laughs> to be there. But when it, when it is a collision, mm -hmm. when when a party decides to be a rebel, you choose either to be there or uh, or out. Or uh, out. Speaking about the the, the merger, mm. for the last seven year, years or so, the Jubilee government has been quote unquote the bad government. But now we are having people coming to the same government. What does this mean? Who, and who are, How good does it become? Who are, who are these people who are saying this government was bad? The opposition the same, at the time. They are the same people. Mm -hmm. They are the same people who have joined the same government. Right. Okay. I will remind you of Galana Kulalu. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. The irrigation scheme. Right. The former prime minister was always on record saying misappropriation of fund, Galana Kulalu is not a good idea, it's a very bad idea for this country. Mm -hmm. After the handshake, he toured Galana Kulalu. And he's the one who said, this project is a good project, mm -hmm. it's the best project for this country. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. This one's actually demystifies and tells us clearly we don't subscribe to ideology. We subscribe to uh, uh, psychophancy and our own personal interests. When I'm in, that thing is good because I'm getting a share. Mm -hmm. When I'm out, that thing is bad because I'm not getting a share. That is the problem that we have in this country. Okay? Mm -hmm. The borrowing of loans was bad. But okay? Is. But there is a time they went to China, all of them. Although he said, I went there as an <laughs> African envoy or whatever. But they <laughs> went there and it was on record that they were negotiating for more loan to come. Mm -hmm. Now you are going to negotiate so that you can get a share. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. But now when you are out, it does not suit you. It does not even, it's not good. Mm -hmm. Okay? So this is the fallacy that we have. And to some extent, when we sit down, as much as... Uh, we may have political uh, differences or political interests uh, with the DP. Mm -hmm. Let us at times interrogate his words, okay? Let mm -hmm. us interrogate his words. Right. A mad person can save you mm -hmm. from, uh, fr from being uh, killed or from danger mm -hmm. ahead of you. 
Because when you ignore a madman to some extent, you may land in danger. So at times, let, let, let's listen to the mad men in the street. Mm -hmm. They may guide us in the right way. Mm -hmm. Deputy President has been on record so many times telling us, oh, uh, when we bring this, unasema nimbaya. Tukifanya hii, unasema nimbaya. Tukifanya hii, unasema nimbaya. Okay? Mm -hmm. These are the same, same things Nani uh, Deputy President used to say, to tell us. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, they are the same things we are seeing. And that's why I'm saying, let us also listen to the madman mm -hmm. on the street. There could be and we interrogate each and everything. Mm -hmm. And when we sit down to interrogate each and everything, then we shall get good and sober leaders, mm -hmm. not through psychophancy. Now, would, would, you, would you say the coming of uh, Waipa Party to the Jubilee and the Chama Cha... Eh? To the Jubilee Party, mm. it's because of the interest. I'm sure they will form some heat. What can you foresee from One, this? One, these are the interests they, they need. Mm -hmm. One, we have the to control the parliament. parliament the, the parliamentary uh, committees, you see right now they are, they are, they are, they are vacant. I can see they are vacant. Mm -hmm. Okay? There's no leadership on those, uh, on those parliamentary groups. Mm -hmm. So these parties also need a stake in this to start from there. Right. After that one is done, the same parties need a stake in the cabinet reshuffles. Mm -hmm. After that one is done, the same parties need a stake in the parastatos. Mm -hmm. Okay? For and we are going to see a lot of reshuffles, a lot of changes in a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. I'm telling the truth. Because of the interest that these parties have come up with. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. I need this, I need this, I need this. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that my person can be uh, benefited so that my people can get this and this but the people you are talking about my people is not the community mm -hmm. it's just one individual or two individuals that are going to benefit themselves and you mm -hmm. that the person who bargained for them okay right. so these are brokers mm -hmm. they have gone there so they can strike a, bro a broker deal mm -hmm. for the few individuals that they have mm -hmm. okay the appointment, their key men, they, they need to have, okay? But there's nothing that's going there to benefit Kenya mm -hmm. as a country. No. Less development, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to confirm this, Jack Ma donated uh, staffs mm -hmm. to, uh, that we are going to use for, 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 for COVID-19. Right. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the staff that the Jack Ma donated are lost. It was in the, in the paper the other day, <laughs> okay? This, these things have vanished. Mm -hmm. Where have they vanished to? Does it mean we don't have good people to look after these things? Mm -hmm. Where did they go to? No problem. These things were sold. They, 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 were not even, they did not even get lost. They, they have just been sold. It's just a language. <laughs> okay, those are serious allegations. Yeah. Anyway, now, uh, these people who will have come to the Jubilee Party, they, will, they have their own interest, and politically, uh, it has been said over the years, there are no permanent enemies. Yes. Do you think uh, the people or the veterans in the Jubilee Party will take it easily for them to see their newcomers being given positions? And I can tell you this, eh? uh, from my observation of the unfolding of things, eh? mm -hmm. since uh, the handshake things, now they have become comfortable. Ask me why. Mm -hmm. Look at Murkomen when he was uh, asked from the majority leadership of the house. He's very comfortable. Okay? Mm -hmm. He's still vibrant. He still talks. Nothing has stopped him from coming to the floor of the house and uh, air his views or debate or more, uh, contribute on a motion. Nothing has stopped him. He's still the Murkomen with you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. The only difference is he's not the majority leader. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So they have come to live with it. They are very much comfortable, mm -hmm. and they are ready for anything. And you see, and uh, when we started our conversation, we were talking about Jubilee Asili. Mm -hmm. This is another house that they think, let us sit here, okay? Mm -hmm. They're just sitting here. Let us share our idea from here. Mm -hmm. Let us draw our strategy from here. So there's a lot that is in that kitchen, mm -hmm. okay, than we know, mm -hmm. okay? That makes them very much comfortable. Mm -hmm. When that leader is not talking, Okay? When the leader is not talking, he's very silent. Mm -hmm. Right now, they, are on their, they can do anything at their own. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. But the leader cannot come and tell them, no, stop this. No, no, no. no. He's being likened okay? to the general who is silent. Yes, he's a, he's a <laughs> silent general. And we don't know what the silent general is planning. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it, it, this is like, we can say, uh, a, a, dormant, a dormant volcano mountain mm -hmm. that can erupt at any time. All right. So these are some of the things that you, we need to go in a corner and interrogate ourselves. What is this guy planning? What is his next move? Why is he so silent on this thing? And this thing is really directly affecting him. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that we need to interrogate when we sit somewhere in a corner in a dark room so that we get good answers. Mm -hmm. And you see this thing, the formation and the coming up together of parties, there'll be casualties. And I've always said there'll be casualties. Mm -hmm. And some people are going to cry. And they will cry, but it will be already done. Uh, would you imagine a scenario where everyone in the Jubilee party will now live and the newcomers will be left? What kind of a house would that be? The, uh, because they, when, they, when the original, when the newcomers remain, and the, <laughs> now everyone they, feels now, I thought I would be hard, I thought it's yes, my chance, but now it's good. not here, so they it leave. Is, it, now it will be like, now a baby will be looking for things to, when the baby stri st st starts, starts walking, eh? mm -hmm. he tries to look at where will I hold so that I can get stability, mm -hmm. so that I can get, so that I can reach the other end, mm -hmm. where will I hold. At times, he, he walks on, on, on the chairs, on the tables, or at times he crawls, mm -hmm. okay? So these people will be crawling that way, mm -hmm. will be holding on things that just to get somewhere. Mm -hmm. These are the same things that happened in 202. Mm -hmm. People thought they'll be favored to get leadership from Ze. Mm -hmm. But what happened? What happened? And that's why we saw the formation of NAC and NAC. So the same things are going to, fo to form. Mm -hmm. The same things are going to form. Eh? Remember Kibaki never, never left uh, DP. Mm -hmm. He never left DP to come and join and join Kano. Mm -hmm. He remained with this DP, believe me or not. Mm -hmm. eh? He never left DP to come and join Kano. He remained in DP and he was there mm -hmm. till the last time. Then these others joined him. So the same thing will happen, mm -hmm. okay? The same thing can happen. History can repeat itself. Mm -hmm. And history is good at repeating itself. So the same things can happen this 2022. And from next year, we are mm -hmm. going to see a lot. People start crying. They will start crying from 2022. Mm -hmm. I came here with these expectations, but you've not given them it. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. people can be given whatever they want. Mm -hmm. After that, the true colors will still come. Right. No matter what. They will. No matter what. And, and do, do you think when the heat it's, it's too much after the newcomers have come, you have not been heard? Do, do you think we have a scenario now, people now going back to their originality, the Jubilee are silly now? One thing, will I, they can, be absorbed? One, one thing I can say, yeah? mm -hmm. um, for the president to rule well, to have good and peaceful uh, transition, he needs to silence the opposition. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that one he did it during the handshake time. Okay? Mm -hmm. He silenced he silenced the opposition. After silencing the opposition, okay, mm -hmm. he has been and very comfortable. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have stress. Mm -hmm. Okay, because what he wants, he wants peace. Right. And you see he can decide to give these people whatever they want. Mm -hmm. I can decide, you are my friend. Mm -hmm. Personal friend, mm -hmm. okay. I can decide because one thing we, we don't know where Ruth and uh, Huru came from. They have been together for a very long time, yeah, okay. True. So and these are very close friends, mm -hmm. okay. So you you can you, it's easy to fight a friend than to fight an enemy, okay. Mm -hmm. So you can bring an en enemy on board at the expense of a friend, mm -hmm. just to have peace and enjoy what you want to enjoy. Mm -hmm. So what president wants is just have a very smooth. Uh, running of his affairs and his government. A very peaceful nation. Mm -hmm. A nation that doesn't have a lot of noise and uh, other things that uh, may lead to war or whatever. So that's why he, he said, let me work with these people. Mm -hmm. And that's why we don't have a lot of bickering mm -hmm. and a lot of accusations from the other side. So in other words, you would say the president is trying to kupatia mtoto wembe? Yeah. Kwa sababu wa Yes. Mtoto wembe mpe. That's what the president has done. Now, with the, with the formation of uh, Jubilee Asili, or it's retaining, I don't know what to call it. Mm. It's the Jubilee Asili as they, they are saying it. We have few people who could be called defectors and they have gone there and they have been so clear on whether they what they want. We have the parliamentary group which is happening this day and 
some of them have said we will not be going there mm. because we we feel our members our friends are being slaughtered the question is why aren't others how did we find ourselves with the tangatanga and the kieleweke knowing very well with the president he's leaving he's not coming back again constitutionally why would, would they align themselves with someone fresh who is coming in other than the one who is leaving you see uh, what we can say is that uh that what has made this people realign themselves okay remember these are the uh, these were the real opposers of the same same government mm -hmm. that they are joining today what has brought these people together is one thing is the bba mm -hmm. is the constitution that they're talking about amending mm -hmm. and everyone is trying to look at if this constitution is amended this is where i can benefit from mm -hmm. if this constitution is amended this is what i'll get remember even 2007, 2008, 2010, mm -hmm. we passed a constitution. And you saw almost everyone was on the side, on that side. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So because he was like, this is what I'll benefit. But Mark you, the people, most people who are, uh, uh, who are opposing the constitution are the ones who benefited from it. Mm -hmm. And uh, who opposed the, co the constitution in one way. Okay, he was not fully supporting the constitution. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. but he just did it because he was the president. Okay, right. Ruto opposed the, uh, op the, the, the constitution. And he ran all the way. <laughs> and ran all the way to the, to, to the ballot, mm -hmm. uh, opposing it. Mm -hmm. But later, there are the people who came and benefited from the same, same constitution. Mm -hmm. So you might be championing for something mm -hmm. that at the end of the day won't even help you. Right. At the end of the day, you will still come mm -hmm. and cry fall of the same, same, same thing. Mm -hmm. So w that's why I always say we lack ideology. When we have ideology, then mm -hmm. we shall stand from where we are. Mm -hmm. We shall be the people we need to be. We shall be the leaders we are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And not just psychophants who today will say this tomorrow. I'm saying this, mm -hmm. okay? The, whatever I'm opposing today is the same thing I'm, I'll come and support tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We should not be such a people. Let us be people of integrity, mm -hmm. okay? Not just people who are swayed by the events. So most of our leaders are being swayed by the events. Well, BBI is coming, so let us all be in it, mm -hmm. okay? And, and to show you, and uh, see, this BBI, why I'm questioning so much BBI, because I see a lot of impunity in it. One. Uh, the condition is very clear, and I want to bring to mention this. Eh? The condition is very clear. Mm -hmm. When the court finds you, that you have a case to answer, whether you are a minister, whether wh whatever kind of an officer you are, right? Whether a junior officer in that office, you need to step aside, mm -hmm. go or resign. Just in fact, not, not step aside, resign. Mm -hmm. Okay, because the co court has found you guilty. You have a case to, uh, to answer. answer. Mm -hmm. Then. Leave, let other mm -hmm. people manage the, their, their affairs. Go, mm -hmm. sort your things. Right. The case, the, 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 the governor of Busia, he has a case to answer, mm -hmm. okay, with the, with the, the eight, 8 million uh, uh, corruption scandal mm -hmm. in his county. But he's still in office. No one is talking about it. What if the, that, that person was, so, was now on the other side mm -hmm. of, of, of the current events? This person... We could be hearing names and names being called right now. Like it happened oh. with the. We could be being reminded. Oh, and yes. We could here. be reminded now and then mm -hmm. that so and so, you are, you, the court has found you guilty. You need to mm -hmm. leave that office, go and answer your charges. You see? But right now, we don't hear such a calls. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. Why? All right. I will be taking a very short break, and when we come back, we will add. Uh, go deeper to into details of what is happening the meeting that will happen what does it mean i will also speak about the governors and the leadership and the impunity that is uh, there in keep it why in the morning my name is deriva hillary we go for a short break
Hello there, it's 20 minutes to 8 a.m. in the morning, 22nd of June 2020 is the date. If you just tuned in, we are having an eye on politics here. The political heat in Kenya, where we, we have, will be having the parliamentary group meeting at KICC, with the Jubilee, which is the Jubilee, and a lot is expected to be happening. Uh, some will be discharged from their uh, positions, and maybe some will be appraised. Uh, that remains to be seen, where members, some of the members of the Jubilee Party are saying they will not be attending. But even so, we have to try to demystify some of the things that have been happening earlier. We have mentioned of uh, the formation of the uh, Sili, uh, Jubilee Asili, uh, which is interpreted to be the original uh, Jubilee. I'm speaking to Cyrus Litsok, political analyst. We move on with our uh, conversation. Remember, we had asked you uh, what informs your decision on your voting. We would love to hear your uh, response to these questions. Y254 on Facebook and Instagram at Y254 channel on Twitter. My name is Dereva Hilary. Welcome to the broadcast. Now, uh, before we went to on that break, you were mentioning of the impunity of the governors. And, uh, yeah, it is happening. And if it was on the other side you were saying, it would be a uh, trouble. But now, even having now the MCs impeaching their governors, we have two in the line now. Mm -hmm. uh, Isiolo Governor uh, Kuti is said to be impeached. The MCs are working on him. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, Charity Ngilo yes. of Kitui. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, last week we had a, a debate here uh, whether it is the woman being fought. Mm -hmm. What do you make of this? Uh, it's not all about the woman who is being fought. It's all about uh, having good leadership in place. Mm -hmm. Anybody can make up to be a leader, but what we need is integrity. Mm -hmm. What we need is good leadership, good service to the people. Mm -hmm. Just play your role as the leader. Give the people what they deserve to have when you're in that position. So it's not all about fighting one gender. No. If anyone who gets into leadership, as long as you are doing good, then no one will fight you. Mm -hmm. No one will question you. Okay, but everyone will praise you once you are doing anything good. Mm -hmm. So when we talk of uh, gender and, and this and this, when you're bringing the gender question, mm -hmm. then we water down mm -hmm. integrity. Mm -hmm. We water down good governance. We water down the leaders, with the leadership, the good leadership that we need to have in this country. Mm -hmm. So let us not focus or put our eyes on uh, gender, but let us handle the issue mm -hmm. the way it is. Remember when you step on that leadership, you are elected because you told these people, mm -hmm. I'm going to do this and this and this and this and this, despite your gender, mm -hmm. okay? So you need to be within that. You need to be within the law. Mm -hmm. And the law does not know gender and, uh, and other these things, mm -hmm. okay? Let us just adhere to the constitution and adhere to the rule of law mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Let us give people what we told them that we are going to give them, despite our, our gender. So let us not bring in the gender issue mm -hmm. at the moment, right. but let us work with integrity. Uh, uh, why, why are the MCAs impeaching mostly the first-timers? Uh -huh. uh, remember when Bora was impeached? Mm -hmm. This was the first time the gov the, we were having the, 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 the evolution. Mm -hmm. So... Ombora was impeached. Mm -hmm. It's not all about the first timers. It's not all about this and this. Remember, mm -hmm. uh, it is their role. Legislation, oversight, and uh, uh, these are, uh, they are, they are three. Mm -hmm. It is their role. It is their mandate. Mm -hmm. So when they find that you are not within the rule of law, mm -hmm. let them play their oversight role. Mm -hmm. Let them impeach you, go to the Senate, then... Okay? Mm -hmm. And if you also you can sit down with them and settle with them and tell them, fine, mm -hmm. you've not done this. And because also, they also need to listen to you. Mm -hmm. We've said this and this and this and this. And that's why the motion of impeachment is always brought in there, in, in, in that house. Okay? Whereby you need also to go and defend yourself. Mm -hmm. But the problem is the governors choose not to attend to those proceedings. But they run, aw they run away. But when the motion is brought to the Senate, mm -hmm. they choose to okay. sit mm -hmm. and be listened to. And yet you cannot listen to. So uh, the, in the, other the, words, the they undermine there. the MCs. In other words, they're undermining the MCs. They're undermining, and no, not only the MCs, but you're undermining the constitution. Mm -hmm. Because this person is playing their role, mm -hmm. the, the, the oversight role, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. They are playing it. Yeah. So you should also 
when that impeachment is being carried out, go to that house, listen to them, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. It can still flop there. Mm -hmm. It does not need to, to come to the Senate. It can still be handled down there, okay? Why is it that you choose to, to, to sit in the Senate mm -hmm. to be listened to or and listen to the senators on an impeachment day mm -hmm. and you cannot listen and sit to the MCs on an impeachment day when they are impeaching you at the county level? You can manage this thing there before they come to the national level. Uh, w w what should be done to ensure the MCs have been given some powers other than the impeachment thing or those three uh, roles they play to make sure that the governors will not feel like uh, being uh, questioned by the MC, it's not uh, my thing? You see, it is just like, no, well, the MCs are playing the role they are supposed to play as citizens enshrined in the constitution. Mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no any other powers they need to have, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Apart from uh, what you can say, for them uh, to fund the world, uh, world development programs, okay, then the roles they have right now, mm -hmm. they are like they are also like MPs mm -hmm. because also MPs have that the same same three roles right. to play at a national level, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So for them, they are just good. The only thing we need to have is we need to have leaders who respect the constitution, All right? Because if you choose not to listen to them, mm -hmm. and these are the people whom you need to work with them so that you ensure. Development is in my county mm -hmm. so that you ensure that I've achieved what we need to achieve as a county mm -hmm. because you can't achieve without them. There's a reason why devolution is there and they, they, they play a very key role in ensuring that devolution is well mm -hmm. managed, devolution is well uh, exercised. So mm -hmm. when we talk of we need to rub them off, we don't need to listen to them, then we are doing wrong. These are the people we need to listen to. Okay. We need to sit them with them and work, work with them. We cannot ignore them. Mm -hmm. Yes, ignoring them, then it means we are ignoring the constitution. True. Yes. Yeah. All right, now, uh, as we come to a close, we have the parliamentary group of the Jubilee Party. Mm. Uh, there has been a lot of hearsays of who will be uh, discharged, who will be given the position, and it has been like uh, uh, they have been calling it the sanitization of the house. It is began with the uh, with the senate now we are in the parliament and uh, it is believed uh Dwelly could survive uh, some of them some of the members are, are supporting him but now all those who are discharged from their com committees uh, people will be coming into office maybe from today if they will be mentioned from there now do you think what has been being done in the in the parliament is in a way to have the BBI go through it since we can't have social uh, gatherings uh, one, for referendum. Uh, Dwale, Dwale survives because from, even from where I sit, when you look at Dwale, has, I've never seen him being contrary with the president. Mm -hmm. He has always pushed the government agenda mm -hmm. in the floor of the house. Mm -hmm. There's no a single day he has opposed a government agenda. Mm -hmm. Before the handshake and after the handshake, mm -hmm. he has always been there for the government. Mm -hmm. Okay, despite the fact he has he, he has allegiance from the other side, mm -hmm. but he has never portrayed that as a leader. Okay, he has always exercised his roles the way he's supposed to exercise his roles as a uh, government representative in the house. Mm -hmm. So, to me, uh, and what he said, these positions are not permanent. He's ready for anything, mm -hmm. and he's very much comfortable for anything. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so once they feel that they want to change, fine, they let them change. But if they retain him, also is the best person to retain, mm -hmm. and is not a, also a best uh, a person you can wish away, mm -hmm. because he has also demonstrated is a loyal and a trust a trusted person. Mm -hmm. And uh, the jubilee changes is something from my end. I cannot say that uh, it's something I'm hearing from uh, uh, at the moment. These things ha have been talked about. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's just execution. Mm -hmm. It's something that was planned a long time ago. Right now, it's just execution, mm -hmm. rubber stamping. Now, this is what we talked about. This is how it, it goes. Mm -hmm. This is what you're talking This is what we talked about. This is how it will go. Mm -hmm. So this, all these things were uh, some that was talked a long time ago. I can uh, remember Kamaket. William Kamakati sometimes was uh, in Baringo. He mm -hmm. talked about the same, same, same things in Parliament. Mm -hmm. They'll shuffle in the Parliament, they'll be there after COVID, you'll see this and this. He talked about them. And he really explained them very well. Mm -hmm. So these things have been there. They were planned a long time ago. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Right now it's just execution. Mm -hmm. Okay? The same same thing in cabinet reshuffle. We are yet to see it. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's something that is, is being talked about mm -hmm. and we are going to see it. There's going to be a lot of political changes in this thing. Mm -hmm. Remember, Jubilee as the ruling party mm -hmm. has welcomed visitors in the party. And these visitors mm -hmm. have come with their demands. Mm -hmm. Remember, they signed the, 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 the memorandums. So this, after signing the memorandums, now it's all about working. Mm -hmm. And to achieve your goals, mm -hmm. you need to ensure whatever took you there, you've got it. Right. Okay? And if you don't get it, you now start coming to the street and start crying. Mm -hmm. Okay? So right now, everybody is anticipating mm -hmm. to get something. And we are going to see it from today, even in the, in the, in, in, in the reshuffles in the parliament. You, you, you'll see a lot of reshuffles mm -hmm. in the parliament mm -hmm. that will favor this other side. So a lot uh, is said, a lot is going to be done, and uh, there will be casualties at the end of the day. In all these things, there will be casualties. Uh, ju ju during the Madaraka Day uh, a few days ago, the president hinted the constitution would be amended and that could happen very soon. And uh, over time, uh, Right Honorable Ray Lodinga has been mentioning that the, uh, the constitution will be amended. Uh, it was to happen in July, but uh, thanks to COVID, <laughs> the guy has stopped a little, but we're still hoping things will change. With the social distancing thing, uh, would you say the BBI is going the parliamentary way? Uh, BBI will go the parliamentary way. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember, before all these things, before the COVID, eh, there was a concern that the BBI, if it goes parliamentary way, it will flop. Mm -hmm. And you see the changes that are happening in parliament, there are changes to ensure the BBI passes through. Mm -hmm. Okay? So these are some of the things that we need to be very much concerned mm -hmm. about because when it goes to the floor of the house and now I have these people on my side it will pass right. and remember when uh, Uru talked about uh, legacy this is the legacy he was talking about okay. this is the, the, the agenda he was talking about and he forgets to tell us about the, the big four agenda but now this has become a priority. Mm. So when will we achieve the big four agenda? Health has become an issue. If we talk of COVID, the way we see the numbers, the numbers will rise. The health system in this country is not well equipped. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about education. We, our, our children, our pupils, our students are at home because of this issue of COVID, mm -hmm. okay? There are no uh, facilities in the school. Mm -hmm. Remember, there's a time we talked about the, the number of students in class. Right. A public school has like 90 students or pupils in the class. Mm -hmm. Now, the public school itself has to look at how are we going to have even 25 students in class. I read the same concern, the same concern I had Magoa speak of the other day, okay? Mm -hmm. We need to look on how our government is going to have like 25 pupils of students in a class mm -hmm. one so that we can manage these things, okay? Mm -hmm. But now when we sit down and look at the, uh, the facilities we have in our schools, we look at the, 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 the amenities we have in our schools, they are not enough, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. The latrines, the toilet we have in school, they are not enough, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So when we sit down and debate much on how we're going to have leadership mm -hmm. or when so and how so and so is going to be a leader, but we forget on service delivery to our people, mm -hmm. that's where we go wrong. Okay. We need to put service delivery to people, then we think, mm -hmm. Then we now sit down and craft how we become now leaders to manage mm -hmm. what we put in place. True. But we cannot talk of how to become a leader just to manage an, a thin air. Mm -hmm. So we need to be very critical in what we are doing. And we need to be very observant also in what we are doing. Let us not just run for leadership and yet we don't know what 
we are yearning for. Mm. Yes. All right. Now, if 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 the if the BBI goes through the parliamentary way, mm. do you think uh, the electorate will have been denied a, a chance to make their decision? Uh, I can say, uh, as far as uh, I understand the parliamentary, uh, how it works, eh? mm -hmm. when something goes to the parliament, they tell me, submit uh, uh, your views to the parliament to look into it. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. Submit what you want. Mm -hmm. Okay? Submit your memorandum. As a citizen or as, as a, a citizen, member of parliament? As a citizen. Uh -huh. Okay? Fine. To who? Where? You submit to the, the parliament, to the committees. There's a committee that will be in charge of it, uh -huh. like maybe say legal affairs committee. So submit your, your views to, to, to the parliament. And how many like, people are privy example, to this information? For example, <laughs> we, had, we, have, we had an issue with the National Youth Council uh -huh. where uh, the parliament was saying the National Youth Council has to be under the Ministry uh -huh. of uh, Public Service Commission, whereby now the Public Service Commission will appoint okay, the, 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 the CEO of NYC and not whereby the youths will exercise their own mandate mm -hmm. to uh, ensure that they have the, a good, uh, their own leader in that position, unlike a leader who has just been appointed. Okay? You see, there's a difference between appointment and election. Right. Appointment is where you are under mercy of someone, okay? that you need to do what that person dictates you to do. Okay? Mm -hmm. But now, when you are independent, then these people will elect you, and they will also you'll work as per their demand to some extent. Even if you want to work 100%, but 60% or 70% you work as per the needs of these people. Mm -hmm. Because you are looking at, I need back this leadership, or I need to have a legacy. I need to leave a legacy. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when we, su we submitted the memorandum to the parliament, up to now, okay, up to now, it has never been worked until. Mm -hmm. We can say it was. We, we submitted it, the NYC and other group. Uh, group uh, group of youths. Eh? Mm -hmm. We walked and we went and submitted our memorandum. We gave it to the young parliamentarians so that they can go and debate to it. Mm -hmm. No, up to now it has never been debated. We're um, still waiting. <laughs> we're still waiting. So these are some of the problems mm -hmm. that we will have. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Till go, they tell us submit your memorandums or submit whatever. We shall submit them. But how sure am I? It is going to be worked into or it is going to be looked into. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you let the process go the way it, it goes, like uh, the, the way it was going, okay, go to the people, they let the people now work on it, submit their issues, submit their amendments, then we shall feel we've played a role, mm -hmm. okay, to it. But when it goes the parliamentary way, it will be just passing through, okay, because now the parliament is being changed. Why? We shall hear less debate on that, mm -hmm. okay? We shall hear less debate on that document, but it will go through. Mm -hmm. Then, after it has gone through, we shall start crying about the process. Mm -hmm. Why are we crying about the, uh, the, the political parties act right now? Because it is something that was brought at, towards the end of the, the, the parliament in, 20, in 20, 2013, I think, or 20, 20, yeah, 2013, 2015 there. Something that was just brought and then it was passed by the parliamentarians. Now, you see, we have a lot of problems that need to be solved mm -hmm. in this Political Parties Act. And no one is talking about it. And that's why you have so many problems in the parties and so many problems in governance right, right. now. Okay. But if we do things in the right way, then we shall achieve good governance. Yes. All right. Uh, Thank you so much for coming, uh, sailors, and uh, trying to shed some light to our audience. We'd love to see some of your comments, uh, what you have said uh, regarding the question, what informs the decision when you go to vote? You'll be voting. You have voted maybe... Uh, in 2013 and 2017 so what guides your decision when voting for a leader uh we want to see some of your comments what you have said regarding this particular question kennedy chariot the they promised and when uh, you vote them in, they forget their promises, no need to vote. That's a Kennedy chariot, and most Kenyans vote because of high expectations and personal favors from politicians. Yes. That's Bwana, Bwana Ali. And then Maurice Jacob Makoa says, Kakamega Sigalagala National Polytechnic College watching. What, 
what guide my own my side on my side is uh behavior of the leader so, okay tony bezo he says there's nothing to vote beatrice kemunto says what they promised to do in hadith is uh the the here and the what yeah, and the elephant and the elephant okay uh, sharon kimeli it says trustworthiness that's what uh, guides her when she goes to vote and then we have madan <clears throat> bay why okay even if i vote or not leaders of of nowadays hawajali maisha wananchi all are fake machandani thank you for watching uh <laughs> your 50 billion tundio uh, huwa inanifanya na kuwa mwaminifu hadi nampigia kura ona sasa vile naumia hawa watu ni bure kabisa nikiwa cherengani kapla mai na wapata wale team paira anasema i don't vote all right you need to be voting emperor felix agree says nothing you just vote uh, you need to have a reason to <laughs> vote uh, and uh, you need to have sound reason to vote for that particular person um jumbe gab gabu mwaki anasema principles of a person that what will guide you in brief someone who has a, a good a good profile in the society and of course how she or he has um having some problems with the technique uh, issues here has been doing for the good of the society that was one of the reasons that will help uh, someone to vote and ryan uh, from um and from Dago should be caring and fulfilling what he promised to vote uh, to voters that is and finally tabia and uh, anasema ni heshima ya mtu mm, the way person talks and uh, reacts to issues watching from konambaya matunda thank you for watching and thank you everyone for watching and uh, uh, sending us your comments uh, we still have more i think money can guide and as well change a decision I think that is dangerous. What do you mm. think? Mm, very dangerous. If you vote because someone mm, gave you something, or dangerous. what do you think he meant? <laughs> I think money can guide and as well change the decision. Uh, so, kama ulikuwa muamwe kunipigia kura, ukimpatia punch, ukimpatia punch, ananiruka. Anakuruka. <laughs> yeah. Money can can guide and mm. as well change the decision. Wait, 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 wait. Alfred, you need to uh, change. Oh, Kwampe Junior says promises, promises yeah, but the end. Uh, they forget 2022 mimi kura sitapiga you need to vote my friend watching from garbatula isiolo county muhammad abdi kuti atajua mnataka kumu impeach all right <laughs> presley azim naivasha i don't know anything about voting okay <laughs> we need uh, civic education mm, bramwell ke i have never voted and i will never vote mm. but i will attend the rallies and For you see, what? And, you see, <laughs> and eat their money. money. Yeah. You see? Yes, These yes, are the yes. Kenyans yeah, we this, have. He's working uh, together with uh, <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> 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 Mr. Hope is a uh, reborn Lamayan. They mm. promise, but they never they deliver. Mm. Okay, Augustine Kavithia. Already tuned in out in the Ngeni, Kisau Makweni County. I don't have time to vote. Time will come. We will need you to vote. We need to weed out these bad leaders. Mm. Nili vote mara moja na sita i vote tena ju since nianze kuji kuji tatia akuna kitu kuji taftia guys mm. akuna kitu nisha isaidika kutoka kwa gava wa shenzi hao that is Ali Jemu. Okay. And John Mutati says sasa ku vote ya nini mimi sio ni maana. Okay. Civic education is needed Cyrus. Mm, a lot. Pamel Kabuka says me is Jawai vote and uh, BD Asli says Macha confirmed me I don't vote. We need civ civic uh, education. And you see, that is the, the problem we are talking about. Eh? Hmm. You see, I've just I mentioned about uh, the Political Parties Act, how it was brought in, eh? mm -hmm. how the, the bill was tabled in the parliament, then you see it was not fully uh, debated on. Mm -hmm. So there is a, 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 a big lacuna mm -hmm. in the same same institution mm -hmm. the political parties themselves they have a big problem okay because one then another issue is the electoral uh, the ibc mm -hmm. okay because one we need to carry out civic education mm -hmm. and you remember that mm -hmm. ibc mm -hmm. will only come to sensitize us mm -hmm. when it's time of voting right. then they'll go 
True. So these are the roles they need to play right now. Mm -hmm. They need to be going to the people because they have a budget. They need to be going to the people mm -hmm. and carrying out civic education. Where they need to vote, mm -hmm. okay? Who they need to vote, what kind of a leader they need to vote. True. So these are some of the things that we need to work on mm -hmm. as a country and as, uh, let me say, uh, also as well, well informed people. Also, LSK need to come in handy in educating these people on matters to do with uh, elections. Right. Yes, because so many youths, even when you, you go down to the streets, mm. they tell, I, I don't need to vote, I will never vote. Even an old person tell, I will not vote mm. because he has his rights. Like who has mentioned, he will mm. go to the uh, rallies and have, and, and money, have that money, which yes. is a wrong decision. It's a wrong decision. We need to vote leaders who so will help we us need, in it. What we need to do is enlighten our people. We need to carry out civic education to our people. Mm -hmm. So we have a very big role to play in this country so uh, that true. we achieve good leadership and good governance. Okay. And what our leaders fear is accountability. So we need to have people who will check on these leaders. Mm -hmm. Let us help them in checking this so that we can have the good leaders in the next time. All right. Yeah, let us not repeat our mistakes. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Cyrus, for coming and uh, all your ideas. And I'm sure people back home have learned, especially the youth that have, uh, say they do not vote, others they would go to have money, and which would change your decision. That is a very dangerous move to make. I'm hoping you have learned uh, something from this discussion this morning. My name is Edereva Hillary. I was uh, speaking to Cyrus Elito. He's a political analyst. Coming up next is an, uh, a discussion of Billy, uh, speaking to a group of people who have come up with an idea to help the vulnerable communities in having masks and uh, reusable masks to help us fight COVID 19. Stay tuned to why in the morning. See you in a few.